it's an honor for me to be invited uh, to honor you, to honor your work, to tell you what a difference it makes. And as someone educated by the Jesuits, I so believe in the work that the Jesuits do around the world. And I so believe in their philosophy. And I so believe uh, that their mission is what the world reads right now. And Joan asked me to read this poem. And in this poem, a young refugee shares the joys of her past, the sorrows of her present, and the uncertainty of her future a testimony of the suffering and the resilience of all the women in Afghanistan. And it goes like this. I wish to go back to the past, to the nights when I could sleep peacefully, to the days when I could go out without any fear and enjoy my life, to the days when I woke up and went to the closet of my dress. Which dress should I wear at work today, I wondered. To the days that last day of the month when I went to the bank, took my hard-earned money, went to the market and bought whatever I wanted. To the days when I was proud of being a woman, I walked all over my city without any restrictions because of being a woman. To the days when I was leaving the house, I would see my three color flag all over the city and I would feel good to see it. To the days when I lived with passion, I hoped for the future. I wish the bright day would come tomorrow after dark night as before, but this dark night has not ended for a month. My God, I do not say blasphemy, but you owe us a world of happiness. Maybe everyone is thinking of moving towards the future, but I wish I could go back to the past. In this time, I want to say thank you to some of the people for showing humanity, but also I have a lots of complaints for dot, dot, dot. Well, no words can explain the pain of my broken heart. Um, so the Jesuits uh, remain committed to accompanying the most vulnerable and the Jesuit refugee service is in that work. And I wanna commend them, congratulate them on their anniversary and thank them for letting me read uh, this poem by an unknown woman, but her words will stay known in my heart. Good luck.